Do you guys remember when Overwatch came out? I know that Blizzard has a horrible reputation now, but back then it was still a very respectable company. And when they announced Overwatch, a lot of people were excited. And you watch the trailer and it's this first person shooter like game, which is very similar to Team Fortress, but it has wonderful aesthetics. It's got an interesting story. It's got all of these characters that play differently from one to another. And also, it's got a lot of waifus. I mean, a lot of waifus. It's even difficult to pick which one is the favorite waifu. Is it Farah? Is it um, Tracer? Is it Windowmaker? Like, like, there's waifus everywhere. Waifus galore. And uh, people play it, and it's actually a really fun game. Very exciting. You got some people on Twitter whining about Tracer because she was showing uh, her, her ass in a picture. So what the developers do is they double down. They, they censor the original picture and they add one that's even more lewd. I mean, it, it was like a fun banter with the community, right? Um, but the, the thing that actually dragged people into it was the aesthetics. I know a lot of women that picked up Overwatch specifically due to aesthetics. I think even Sean had was on a stream and she said like the, the reason she knows about this game is she tried it is because of the porn. Because... Uh, it got into a controversy at the time. You would search for Overwatch on Google. Like, Google didn't uh, add its not safe for work function at the time. And you, you would look for Overwatch and, like, the first results that would come up would be porn. Um, so I know from an insider that this is why Blizzard decided to crack down on it. Because they wanted kids to play it, right? <laughs> like, they didn't want mommy and daddy to, to Google the, the thing. But, again, like, the game was massively popular. And what's interesting is that alongside with Overwatch came another game. They released almost in the same month or so. I forgot the company that made the other one. But it was like the same idea, a first-person shooter MOBA. And the art style was Tumblr-esque. Very Tumblr-esque. To the point where you can see they went out of their way in order not to cast a single pre-female character. And besides that, like the gameplay wasn't really bad. It was kind of average. But no one wanted to play it. Because the aesthetics do matter. Um, but more importantly than the aesthetics matter, they're, they're now a benchmark, really. Like, like they're, they're a flag of the health of the game. If the aesthetics look so unappealing, if the aesthetics look like Tumblr art, chances are the people that are making the game have no idea what they are doing. Like, they do not understand the market. They're probably corrupted by ideology. They're not interested in making a game. They're not interested in putting passion to making a game. And time and time again, it shows that these games absolutely flop. And it's not because of the art style, right? Like, the art style is the package. But, like, if they don't even bother making a good package, what's inside the package is shit as well. It's literally the option menu test. So, so for those of you who don't know, like, this is something that is being discussed within the gaming industry. Uh, the intro menu or the option menu is a symbol of the quality of the game. Like, like, if it's a really cool menu, and I want you guys to think of StarCraft 2, I want you guys to think of Warcraft 3, right? Like, if the menu is really polished, and it's amazing, and it feels great, then the game itself is probably amazing as well. And the reasoning for this is that usually the option menu is made last, and if they actually put a lot of effort into making it look good, it means that they already put a lot of effort into everything else. And they didn't try to just rush the game. They didn't just try to ship it. So really like the option menu test, I, I, I look at the aesthetic test. If the game has like awful aesthetics and, and, and it's disgusting to look at, if, if there's absolutely nothing attractive about the characters, if they're not funny, if they're not cool, if they're not sexy, and, and they look like some shit that, that some random artist drew on Tumblr, I know for a fact the game is going to fail. And every single time I say this, like, no matter how many times I witness this pattern recognition, uh, people still call me a grifter. People still say that I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. And history just repeats itself. Now, now here's an example. This is a game which recently was announced, uh, Concord. And Concord was, like, another game which kind of looked like Overwatch. Uh, I, I guess it's a first-person shooter MOBA, and the thing is, like, I genuinely love these types of games. Like, I, I really want to play something like this. 
But I'm looking at it, characters look like Tumblr, characters have pronouns in the bio, characters avoid using the word female, and it's like body type AB. Uh, they look ugly as sin, as I mentioned before. And I'm like, okay, well, I'm not buying this. I'm not rich. Chat, I'm not rich. I got a kid. I got a, a project that I'm working on. I, I don't have that much money. I can't, you know, just waste money just to buy a game and, and play it to see that I don't like it. So I, I didn't even buy it. Yeah, and behold, apparently I didn't even miss that much. Like, the game barely released, and it's got 909 people playing. It's already a flop. And it's like, well, how did I know? How did I know? Because I remember, like, arguing with a lot of Spurgs on Twitter that were telling me, it's like, oh, if you don't play the game, you can't possibly know. Oh, you're so superficial. You only care about the aesthetics. You know, it's, again, like saying you only care about the intro menu. You only care about the option menu? Like, sure. You know, there are games that are really great and have a shitty option menu. I can't think of many, but I'm pretty sure there are. However, on average, in fact, even above average, this is a really good benchmark. This is a really good way that you can assess if the game is great or not. I mean, sure, you know, like, the best way to assess if a game is great or not is to actually play it, but that would mean you actually have to spend the money, you actually need to invest the time, and if you don't like it, they already took your money. So it's not the best way to assess, right? But if you are like a quick, a quick test, you know, a quick sample, yeah, the option menu, or in this case, uh, the aesthetics. Like how many more games where the female characters, like in this picture, it's not obvious, but there, there's other ones where, where the female character has the manly jawline or where they go out of their way to show that they have pronouns like, I, I never understand the thing with the pronouns, by the way. Like, like someone should explain to me, like, someone should walk me through this. Because he, here's my understanding of transgender ideology, right? Like, you have a person that is born a man, and they identify as a woman, correct? Right, so, so they, like, they want to transition into a woman. That's why it's called transgender. Like, like they transition into a woman. And they want to be recognized as if they're a woman. Like, the, am, I, am I understanding correctly? Am I following the ideology? Okay, now... When they play a video game, why can't they just play a woman? Like, like if, if that's how you identify, right? It, 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 like, first and foremost, assuming that when you play video games, you actually want to play your gender. Because that's not how I roll, you know? Like, when I play a video game, I just want to see a sexy ass in front of the screen. Like, I, I would pick a female character. Uh, if I play World of Warcraft or something like that, I'll pick the sexy Night Elf or the sexy Draenei, and that's how I like to play, because I don't actually identify with the character, okay? I'm not an actual psychopath that goes around in GTA and killing people. Like, there is a disconnect between me and the character. I, I do not identify with the character. Uh, but, like, assuming that you genuinely do, right, uh, and you want to have the exact same gender, the exact same race as you do in real life, if you're transgender, why, why wouldn't you just play as a female character? Like, if you're playing an RPG and you identify as a woman, why not just cast a female character? Right? So, like, what is the nonsense with the pronouns? Why, why would you want to play a guy that uses female pronouns? Like, like, no, seriously, like, this is a legit question. I'm not taking the piss. I know this is weird, but, like, right now, I'm not taking the piss. I'm not making fun. The thing that I believe is that all these companies, they, they hire these consultants that tell them to do performative things because the consultants don't understand about trans people either. Or, you know, like, they may have, like, some limited understanding from their small circle of friends and what they learned at the gender studies university. But, like, in reality, they have no clue whatsoever. But they do impose these executive decisions on the companies who pay them a lot of money to be consulted. So the companies then do what they're asked, and, and this is what's happening. Um, <clears throat> but, again, these people have no clue even about trans ideology, where, where you think is their strong point. So if they have no clue about that, how can they have a clue uh, on their weakest points, which is how to make a good video game? So, so when I see this shit, I immediately go, okay, like there is a consultant team that was involved in this. This is the only reason that the characters look so fucking ugly. I mean, you, you can literally go on Tumblr, you can literally go on Twitter, and you can see artists that draw as a passion, and they draw better art than this, right? Like the, the art is pleasing. I'm not saying that it has to be sexy. I'm not saying they need to have massive tits or anything. I'm saying at least make them cool looking. Like this is boring and bland. This is like some stock photo shit. There, there's nothing in this art that, that makes me want to buy the game. There, there's nothing that tells me. Compare this with the Overwatch art. 
You know, compare this with Mercy just like descending from the heavens and giving you her hand in order to take you on an adventure. Fuck, even that monkey from Overwatch, Winston. Like, even that is cool. Right? Massive monkey next to like all, all these little characters. It's fucking epic. But here? No. Anyway, let me know what you guys think. And as usual, I'll see you in the comment section. Take care.